So when most people think of developmental biology, they think of genes, and they think that everything is done by genes, and as long as you know the, the gene and the genome, all the problems are solved. But this is not true. Genes give the cells properties. What they don't tell us is how do cells use these properties through signaling, through biomechanics, in order for groups of cells to come together and form structures. So remember, we all start as a single cell, and then we turn into something like this. How does that come about? And that's what this workshop, uh, these three workshops, are going to be looking at. The first workshop is really bringing, back, bringing biologists to um, set the scene, if you like, for the rest of the semester. And in particular, actually, there's also going to be a day celebrating Darcy Thompson, uh, because this is the 100th anniversary of the publication of On Growth and Form, where he tried to move biology away from collecting lots of data into trying to find mechanism and trying to find commonalities between um, different uh, processes that are going on in different animals. So the idea is the first workshop is mainly biologists setting the scene of what are the key problems that need to be looked at. The second workshop then is bringing modelers together with biologists in order to identify certain areas in which there is the possibility of new developments, not only in biology, but also in mathematics, in terms of deciding what are the key statistics that we should be trying to um, uh, capture, what, what are the key mechanisms or the key outcomes a mathematical model for a particular process should be uh, capturing. And then the third workshop is going to look particularly at multi-scale modelling, because biological function arises through the integration of processes acting at many, many different scales. And these scales are feeding forward, they're also feeding back, and that's what makes them particularly complicated. And the third workshop will look at multi-scale aspects and the advances in computation, in the mathematics of multi-scale models, and also, of course, the link with the experimental work.